Hi guys, good morning. It is a Monday morning at 8 o'clock and I'm live. So I just wanted to let you know I was asked to do like a sales increase, how I sell, whatever. Um, and I be busy. So hi, hi Tashana. So instead of getting a really great outline and making sure that it flows perfectly and being so eloquent, I literally just sat and I jotted down notes. Whatever came to my mind, whatever I do in like 20 seconds. <laughs> and we're just going to talk. Because it, if I don't do it like this, it's never going to get done. So it is going to be all over the place. But it's what I do. So shall we continue with this. I need some lip gloss first. Oh, there it is. Or chapstick. Um, you guys, I know that you kind of saw. So I've been trying. 50,000 in retail has been like taunting me lately. And so my PayPal, like immediately when I go in to check my sales, it says the past 30 days. And I'm like, well, 30 days kind of is a month, right? It's just not a calendar month. <laughs> so the other day I posted, I reached 53,000 in the past 30 days. So I kind of did 50. I broke it. I'm so excited. But I still was pushing because I wanted to do 50 in a calendar month. Like I wanted it to be a calendar month or else it would just be like in the back of my head, like I didn't get it. Anyways. Tomorrow morning, when all my invoices are paid, I will have broken 50000 in a calendar month. And I'm so stoked. And you know what? Hold on a second. I probably, oh, I, I'm not getting comments now that I think about it. I have to go back out and do my home screeny thing. Let me be back. Am I back? Okay, I'm back. Do I have comments now? Oh, there it is. Okay, dude. I am seeing comments. Okay, yay, so I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, I did miss Tashana's. Hi, Tashana. Anyways, okay, so that being said, I think what I do must work, right? That's what I'm like prefacing this with. Oh, Ninja wants to get up just a second. All right, so I'm putting this on YouTube after. So if you're on YouTube, this is actually a live and I'm not talking to myself. All right, so we're gonna start at the beginning of my little notesy notesies. All right, I've mentioned this before. I'm an odd duck. I do have a lot in retail sales every single month. And who also is very comparable would be Alicia, okay? And after talking with Alicia, she said, like, it's me and her, and then it drops a little bit until the next, like, I think there's some girls doing about 30, and then it drops a little bit to, like, 20, okay? I know, okay, the variables there are Alicia and I have networking and time on our sides. That's the biggest difference between our sales and where everybody else may be at, okay? So, she just happened to be spending her networking time already in Agnes and Dora, okay? So, she has four years under her belt building her business to get her sales to where they are. So, somebody coming in who's been in a year can't expect to have Alicia's sales because she's been working for four years. Does that make sense? Okay, now I have been in only in one month, so I'm in the 11 months. This month will be next, no, well, next month, in 29 days, I will have received my kit one year ago. So the only reason that I've been able to do it as quick as I've been able to do it is because my networking experience that I did previously in my other company has carried over. So I have spent time in the trenches, building a network, and doing the things that I've needed to do to get these sales already, 
okay? So networking equals sales. Time equals sales. That's like the biggest factor in it, okay? It just translates. So how I've been networking, how Alicia most likely has been networking and maybe doesn't even know is, um, I don't know, there's so many different ways. Okay, so let's get my notes. Buy, sell, trade pages, okay? So there's buy, sell, trade pages. <sighs> Let me break down actually what networking actually means. Networking just means being a friend, meeting new people, networking. So where do you do that? You can literally do it anywhere. You can do it at the grocery store. You can do it online. You can do it in um, networking groups. You can do it at parties. You can do it at vendor shows. You can do it at a wedding, sitting at a table next to people, meeting people, anywhere you meet people. Like just be an open billboard. Just be a billboard for your business, okay? Anywhere you go, that's where you can network. Every person you meet, they could freaking fall in love with Agnes and Dora and invite like 15 people, 20 people, 50 people maybe even into your group, okay? That's what I'm talking about, okay? Like one person will just be a ripple effect and one person who adds 15 and then one of their 15 who adds 15 more, like it just, it's a ripple effect, one at a time, okay? So there's Ignis and Dora buy, sell, trade pages. I've actually never been in, oh, good morning, ladies. I don't know why my comments aren't showing, but I see them on the computer. Um, I've never used the Ignis and Dora buy, sell, trade pages. Um, this is just how I have chosen, not saying that it's wrong. So you can do wherever you want. But when it comes to me and wanting to build my network into my group, I don't do multi-sales. I don't use the buy-sell trade pages. Um, I prefer if I'm gonna grow my network, if I'm gonna grow my customer base, I wanna grow my customer base with brand new people. Like it's a little bit harder, but I'm okay with hard because to me that's more long-term, okay? So to me, building a network and building a customer base of people that have never heard Agnes and Dora before, to me, is better than being in buy, sell, trade pages or doing multis with other people and sharing the same customers. I've never done a multi. I never will do a multi. I've been asked to do a multi. I will not do a multi. Um, I hope I turn down multis nicely. <laughs> but it's okay to say no. And I just say no. Say no to multis. <laughs> so anyways, you want to build your business fresh eyes. There's a bajillion people out there that don't know about Agnes and Dora. Why do you want to go find somebody that does know about Agnes and Dora and already is probably in a bajillion groups? Okay. So, um, that being said, you can be in the buy, sell, trade pages for Agnes and Dora dropping links. I do know that people have grown their groups that way. It, it works, but so does other buy, sell, trade pages. So I am in locally, I mean, every town has, um, Ashley, possibly, I'm going to go into this now though. So I actually asked if I would feel differently about buy, sell, trade pages if I hadn't already had a network built up and I don't know because I have, I won't be there or I've, I never was there. And it's hard to think about that if I, yeah, but where I was going, Ashley, you're smart duck is you can do the same thing. Like you can use different buy, sell trade pages. Like locally, you're going to have garage sale pages of where people buy and sell clothing or, um, I mean, like, what are, what's on your buy, sell, trade page? Like furniture, like literally anything. It's where people advertise, I'm selling this. Here's a garage sale. I have, um, where people post vendor events and like their business that there's, I mean, people promote everything on those things. So in the beginning, I posted my link all the time, all the time in there. I had a really great collage of Ignis and Dora, like some really cute pictures of the clothing. 
And then I, it was just really short and sweet. I said, Ignis and Dora is taking over locally. If you like LuLaRoe, you'll like Ignis and Dora. Maybe people don't want to say that, whatever. You say what you want. But people around here know LuLaRoe. So I was just going to take advantage of the fact that people knew LuLaRoe. And when they visually looked at our clothes, they would see, one, the styles are way, way different, way more unique. Prints are better. Like, it'll just be like, LuLaRoe, Ignis and oh, you know, what is this? Intrigued, you know? So that, that would be it. It would just be super simple. Ignis and Dora is taking over locally. If you love LuLaRoe, you'll love Ignis and Dora. It, um, here's my shopping link. You can also join my group or whatever. Drop it. Drop it every other day. Drop it once a week. The more you drop it, the more people are going to see it. more people are going to join your group. So it doesn't have to be an Ignis and Dora page. It just it freaking anywhere. Just anywhere you can get your name out. It's like that would be like the equivalent of sticking your business card at the grocery store on the cork boards that they have. I don't know if they have those where you guys are. But they have advertising cork boards all over town. You can just put your information. Like it's just a flyer in a but it's an online flyer so there um I also networked in groups that aren't like buy sell trade um some of these things take a little bit longer but again remember I said sometimes taking and building relationships longer with people that don't know Agnes and Dora will I mean obviously translate into sales my sales are higher and this is just what I've done okay um, just standard groups. I am in groups about Fargo can't park. It's just a bunch of groups that people post people that can't park and we all laugh about it. Okay. Target obsession mommies. Lulu or Lou. I love Lululemon. That was a big one that I was networking in. Love Lululemon. I'm in a Lululemon group. I just started buying Rothy's. I'm in a Rothy's group now. I love Louis Vuitton. I'm in Louis Vuitton groups. Um, you can do, I mean, some people are obsessed with their dogs. You can get in a dog group and you can obsess about your dogs together. You can be in, oh, I know like twin mommies or triplet mommies or surrogate mommies. Like they have groups like that even. Like literally anything. I could just look at the wall. Paint, paint, wall paint. There's going to be home decor groups. I'm in some of those. There's going to be lighting. I'm looking at my lighting kit. Lighting and photography groups, if that's your jam. Um, oh, what? Artist. Like, look at my daughter. <laughs> Boo. She loves to draw in color. Find other people that love to draw in color. And just network in there. Like, I mean, I will kind of do a disclaimer, though. Don't doing some of these things they can be a time suck okay so do it like for 15 20 minutes a day just get in there post something make yourself known like who's this Jill oh she's commenting on my stuff you're interacting with people you're meeting new people you're liking their things if you make a connection with somebody it's not creepy to send them a friend request that's actually how somebody that's how I found Ignis and Dora somebody sent me a friend request and I'm like oh what's Ignis and Dora click okay so it just meet new people, make connections. I have met so many fun people in some of these groups. And one of my best distributors in my last company actually came from the Lululemon group. Okay. So you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who's going to join your team. You never know who's going to buy a bajillion dollars with you. Like I have a girl who has spent like almost $9,000 in the past two months with me, three months. Okay, you never know who you're going to meet and who's going to come in and just buy all your inventory. <laughs> so just have fun and you're going to meet new people. That's the worst case scenario. You have new friends. Everybody wants new friends, right? But that isn't going to be like an immediate way to grow your business. So you have to limit it like 20 minutes a day or something. Just get into those groups, find some groups and just network with people. And people are going to be like, oh, who's Jill? Oh, Jill. oh, there's Jill. Oh, hey. I like Jill. She's fun. She, well, you know, she comments on my stuff. She likes my stuff. People want to, um, when you, when you first hop on Facebook, what's the first thing you do? You look at your notifications, right? You see who is like interacting with you and commenting on, on stuff that you're, you're doing or saying. So if you're in their notifications and you're caring about them, they're going to take more interest in what you want. Okay. 
I said, what is this? Yeah, time is an issue. We're all, all trying to sell invoice ship, take pics, networking always falls to the wayside. Setting a 15 minute timer is a good idea though. Yes, that is why like taking it, like making a schedule, like I have a schedule and I'm still working on it. I have like every day what I'm going to be doing and like which I'm dedicating each day to. But yeah, it's like a power hour. You have to literally like, this is important, this is important, and this is important. And if you just get, if you forget like where you're going and what you need to do, you're going to just get sucked into one thing and you're going to forget to do other things. So yeah, networking doesn't take a lot of time. And like I said, you can do it anywhere. When you're at a wedding, when you're at church, when you're at the grocery store, when you're with girls night. Like, so there's times where you're going to be networking and you're not even going to be knowing it unless you're not actually networking. Like you're not physically like, oh, you know, I'm in a situation where I could network and it's not taking any extra time. You're already doing it. Okay. The like online Facebooking and doing the group stuff that is going to be time consuming or not time consuming, but you need to set aside time for that. Um, <clears throat> okay. Networking. Got it. Let me see what else. Okay. Hostesses. Um, I don't do hostesses just because my brain, like, I, I feel like I make less money because I'm so OCD and I'm just like, my, the volume in my shop is too big for me to like comprehend and, and focus on that at this point. I've tried to do them. And it just causes so much stress and anxiety for me that I don't. But if you're growing your business and you want to have increased sales and you've tried everything else or, or maybe you haven't tried everything, whatever, hostesses are a great way and I would recommend doing them. Um, because like I said, when you meet one person and they bring in 15 people, you never know who's going to bring in 15 more people. So hostesses introduces you to a new group of women and it can just snowball. Like once your snowball gets a little bit bigger, it starts to roll down. I mean, it just picks up speed. Okay. So that's the idea. Hostesses, great idea. Um, I'm not going to talk much more on that because I haven't done it, but I do think that hostesses are a really great idea. Um, also another thing is, you know what? People don't use their personal page enough. Yes, Ashley. Ashley said hostess, hostess parties are a great way to network too. Yes. My goal with those isn't necessarily sales. It's to get fresh eyes in my group. Yeah. And hostesses, like they may be a bust, but you ha we have to remember that it's an education process. Like what is Ignis and Dora? How do you buy? What are the styles? How do they look on different body types? What is the sizing? Did I already say that? I don't know. So like as you're educating people and as they continue to see it over time, they are going to start purchasing. Occasionally I'll put a post in my group and say, Hey, you know, there's a lot of new people in the shop who hasn't purchased. Why haven't you purchased? Maybe I can help you with stuff. And it's constantly size, 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 money, which I can't do much about size. Well, yeah, you can, you can do hostess. So if you do hostess, that would be a great way to say like, well, host a, host a party size, size, size. I don't, I'm not sure if the style, you know, so like those are easy things that you can just start networking with people, making connections and just answering their questions. And I've gotten sales, lots of sales doing that better connections. Hopefully they'll repurchase there. Okay. So it's an education process. So yeah, when you're getting fresh eyes in your group, that's the goal. Fresh eyes is the goal. It's not necessarily the immediate sale because it, it almost never is an immediate sale. It's over time. Okay. So back to personal page. Forget everything you ever knew about direct sales. This is not your typical direct sales and it's not even really direct sales. You're a clothing company. You're a boutique. Do you know what Pinterest is? Pinterest is where people go and get ideas about fashion and home decor and stuff like that. Like they like to see it. They want to see it. So it is not annoying to post about your boutique and outfits and cute things in your, on your personal page. It's just not, I should be doing it more, but like it comes back to time for me with the volume that I do. I wish I could do all of the things that I'm telling, telling you guys to do, but I've already done it. It's gotten me the sales. And so now I'm just working with the volume I have, but to get the volume there for you guys, 
you need to be present on your personal page. It, don't think, I just don't want to be annoying. I don't want to be annoying. You're not annoying. Women love clothing. They will buy clothes before they pay their bills. They will. So for that reason, it is not annoying to them. They like to see it. They want to see it. The more they see it, and if you post like once a day or every other day, that's not a lot. The chances of somebody seeing that post twice are slim to none because they might not be on the exact same times that you post it. They might not be, uh, I mean, it's, yeah. Oh, I have a return. Shoot, I forgot to do that. Okay, noted. Um, okay, so you need to be present on your personal page. That's another great way. If your friends don't even know you're doing it, I mean, they're your, they're your warmest market. They're your warm market. They're the ones that are going to trust you the most and probably be the first to buy. So, personal page, be present. Post about it. You're not annoying every other day, at least, okay? Next, ask your friends. This one went really well for my, my, my team when I told them to do it. Ask your friends, hey, $10 drawer of cash I'm going to draw for. If you let me post, make a post and tag you in it. So what happens is when you post like a collage, a pretty you know picture of Agnes and Dora clothing on your wall, do a quick like we I talked about in the buy sell trade thing in the beginning of this. When you post, hey Agnes and Dora, if you not heard of it, whatever, blah blah, join my group, okay? Or shop, drop your shopping link, or even join my team, drop that link, okay? Um, if you post it on your personal page and you tag your friends in it that is going to show up on their wall and in their friends feeds because so-and-so was tagged in it. That is a great way to expand your network too and who sees your stuff, okay? And then draw out of those people one person to win $10. Yes, Beth. Yeah, people freaking, I mean, it's a great one. I did it all the time, all the time. Hey, if you don't mind me posting about my business and taking you, would you comment below and I'll draw for $10 off. I mean, do it like every two weeks, once a month, whatever. She added 50 people by doing this. Oh, so if you guys are watching this on YouTube, yeah. Beth says, seriously, the thing to do, I've added at least 50 people by doing this. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, if it doesn't work, if you post that and you're like, nobody joined my group, you want to change the text. Tweak the text. Maybe it's something in the wording. Maybe you wrote too much and people, like it's gotta be short, sweet, and to the point. If you write a novel, nobody's gonna read the novel. I'm not a novel reader. I just like, tell me what I need to know. Shopping link, show me the link. It turns blue. Like I wanna click on something, okay? Um, don't, don't share a novel. Novels are fun, like occasionally or whatever. Um, they're more for like recruiting purposes, but uh, yeah. Okay, so yes, short, sweet, to the point. If that doesn't work, maybe change the picture. Maybe try a video. Like switch it up until you find the perfect like combination to get people to click on it and join your group. You can do this on your business page too. You can't take people, but you can do this on your business page um, and have people uh, post your business page on their wall or your group link on their wall and draw a name. It does the same thing. Okay. Um, what else? Take friends out and... Oh, okay. Networking. Networking equals sales. So, the last thing. The Hail Mary, if nothing works, and I'm not saying if nothing works in a week. This business, any business, is not built overnight. So, this won't be the same. If this doesn't work and you're giving it like two, three months, I mean 90 days, that is a real thing. 90 days start. 90 day push, whatever you want to call it, 90 days is key increments in your business. If you do something for 90 days and it doesn't work, that's when you do something different. You have to be consistent at something for 90 days. Okay, so after 90 days, two to three months, if it's not working, you need to tweak something and do something a little bit different. Okay, the last, the Hail Mary. If these do not work to get people in your group, and eventually then they would start stop buying. Then you just freaking add people. Um, when I grew, I, you know, I've only done this once and it actually flopped. I had like maybe 100 people added, maybe 
I don't know why. I thought I would just have, like, I thought I would go from, like, 5,000 members to, like, 7,000 members, but it, that wasn't the case. I don't know. Whatever. Um, add people. I didn't suggest this before, but this is like a Hail Mary. Just add people. If you're adding people, like, people don't like to be added to groups. I think fashion, though, is a little bit different than, like, you know, some of those that were added to. If you, when you're adding people or when you're asking people to add, you want to make sure that your group is, like, spot on. So when they come to your group or when they're added and they click on it, your wall, when they scroll through your wall, they know what you're about. They see the cute clothes. So make sure all the best stuff is posted to the top and you keep it bumped for those next few days while people are, like, coming into your group. Make sure that it looks like Pinterest. Like, look at all these cute outfits. Look at all these, like, you can shop this. Look at this. You know, not like they come in and they see what's the 10th picture in your phone, drop your emoji, favorite GIF, not that stuff. They want to come in because you have like one second to decide what is this. They are going to scroll for two seconds and decide, do I stay or do I go? Okay. And if they're like, oh, what is this? Oh, it's really windy outside. I was like, what is that noise? Um, okay. Does that make sense? Or was I? Oh yeah. You want, you want to grab their attention. You have like two seconds. It's like Instagram. They go to your page, look at the first nine photos and then you either get them or you don't. Um, all right. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So make sure that your wall is perfect. Um, yeah, so I, I suggested this, I changed my tune because originally I was just like, don't just add people. People don't want to be added, whatever. So I changed my tune. I told people as a Hail Mary, start doing this. And I actually had one girl yesterday message me and she's like, Jill, it actually worked. I have my group, like the interaction is building, the sales are building. I'm having my best month. And this was two months ago. So see what I mean? Like two to three months. You have to give it two to three months. Not two to three months of just like piddly here, piddly there. Like two to three months of actual work before you can just say, oh, no, it doesn't work. Okay. Um. So it's working. All right. Schedule. You have to have a schedule. So when I first started, I was all over the place. I mean, you're the shipping department. You're the sales department. You're the marketing department. You're the returns department. You're the, what are you? You're, you're the customer service. I mean, you're just every, every person. And then you have to sell. And then you have to be a family. You have to be a mom. You have to be a wife. You have to be, um, I don't know, maybe there's men. So maybe you have to be a husband <laughs> or a boyfriend or whatever. You, ha you have your life outside of this. So you need to make a schedule too. And so in the beginning, I was all over the place until I found a schedule that worked for me. How I found that schedule was when I would sell live, I would be like, okay, when I go live, like how long does it take to me to prepare live? Not very long. Um, yes, we do all the things, Ashley. Um, so when we, when, when I would do a live, I would be like, okay, it starts here. This is about how long my lives take. This is the time after it takes and then into the next day. So I would like know how much time a live would consume of my schedule. And I would put it in my schedule around where I knew that I could commit to that. So I knew a live would take me about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. I don't do four hour lives. Some people do and I'm like, okay. But this is just, you find what works for you. So about an hour and a half. And then I spend about an hour and a half after that even invoicing, answering last minute questions, doing replay. I don't really do replay a whole lot. I try to drive it to the sale, to the, to the site, but before I can edit the caption and turn off commenting, I have a few trickle in. So then I wrap that up and then the next morning I have a few questions coming in. So for me, that was Tuesday nights. Tuesday to Wednesday morning, that is the time that I could commit to having a live. So Tuesdays has been my thing. Every Tuesday night I have a live sale. You want it to be so consistent that your group, whether you told them you were having a sale or not, they knew to expect you on Tuesday night. Lauren had mentioned this in our live on uh, training in uh, in the in the Bloom tours. You like you know when Grey's Anatomy is on because it's consistent. Like you just know. 
You don't even have to put it in your calendar. You just know, okay? That's the same concept. Um, so you need to get something and you need to get consistent for your sake and your group's sake. Um, and just off topic, it's okay to schedule. Like you need to have hours. Like I just this week now put out an email, like an instant reply email that says, I check emails twice a day. That's it. Like if you get me outside of hours, I'm not checking my emails. This I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be a slave to my business 24-7. You shouldn't either. So you need to have a schedule, you need to stick to it. Um my coffee's probably cold. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's cold. Okay. So stick to it. Take time for yourself. If you're burnt out, you're you're it's burning out is not great. It's all this fresh new hair. All right. Okay, selling. All oh, right. So how to sell? That depends on the person. You. Um. Everybody's different. You could be completely awkward live. Then don't do it. Kelsey, I'm gonna call Kelsey out because she openly admits I'm awkward live. I won't do live. So she rocks the party site like a boss and does like 30,000 a month, okay? So if you're awkward live, I mean, I would suggest doing live until you like figure out maybe you're, it's not your thing, but you need to do everything until you find out what actually works. So in the beginning, I thought I would do Periscope. I, so when I came into this, I should actually say, I did do Facebook a lot. I love Facebook, I was always live. That's how I build my network. So I wanted to do Facebook, but nobody was really on Facebook doing lives. Um, everybody, I felt like everybody was on Periscope. Maybe that's because I was part of Lauren's team and everybody on Lauren's team does Periscope. I don't know. But in my head, nobody did Facebook Live. Everybody did Periscope or album sales. Uh, we didn't have the party side back then. So I was like, oh, I got to do Periscope. So I did Periscope and it was just like, it, it didn't feel right. And... So I started doing Facebook Lives and that just felt right. It was working. I, I figured out the delay because I like to talk to myself. So like the delay was not even an issue for me. <laughs> so find, do whatever and then find eventually what works for you, okay? So live, party site, albums, Periscope, Instagram, whatever. Put your time and energy and focus into one of them. Dabble in them until you figure out what feels most comfortable and once you find something that's comfortable, you are going to rock it like a boss. And own it. Like If you're confident and excited, that sells more than anything. Okay. All right. <sighs> anything on that? Oh, yeah, let's actually talk about this. Okay. So some of the other things aside from those that I have done that have increased or like that I've found work for me. Okay. So you can do flat lays. You can post pictures of you wearing the clothes, other people wearing the clothes. You can do like mystery leggings. You can do fun little things like mystery leggings, posting a picture of leggings in a bag and nobody knows what they are, but there's like, I mean, now that we have leggings coming out, you can do some, if the leggings sell out and it's a hot one, like you remember the sloths, okay, or the camera leggings for a short time? I mean, find one that is like a hot seller, and if you have it, put it in the mix and say, I have a couple of these in here. You know, who wants them? Mystery leggings, non-returnable. Like, mystery leggings are non-returnable. Anything mystery is non-returnable, okay? But you can do something fun like that. You could probably do it with shirts. I haven't done it with shirts. I've seen it done with shirts. It's a little bit more tricky, I feel like, with shirts. But whatever. Do something fun like that. Capsule sales. So if you guys don't know what a capsule is, it's like five, six pieces that you can make like 50 different outfits with. So do some of those. Um, outfit boxes, I don't even know what, I call mine a style box. It's basically like Stitch Fix. So you can do that. It's not like a monthly subscription, but occasionally like once a month you can put it out and see who signs up and do that. Um, I'm not gonna tell you more about that. I, if you like look around, you'll probably be able to figure out how people do that. But the outfit box is a great way to get um, sales, unique sales style. 
themed sales. You can do a, a black live sale. You can do it as an album sale too. Or you can even make a party link of all your black stuff. Okay, Natasha said, I just did a fall fashion box and it was a huge hit. That's actually really cute. Fall fashion box. That sounds cute. See, I would want to even do that just because it's a cute name. Okay, what did Ashley say? I just finished 90 plus days of very consistent Periscope, two to three days a week minimum, and it just never took off. Switching gears now, Facebook Live does great for me though. See, and even hearing her read that, like I can tell that she's just like, you know, I tried the Periscope thing and it just didn't take off. But she's like, Facebook Live does great for me, though. So she, I can tell that she's excited in that sentence. Like, so Facebook Live, I wouldn't be surprised, Ashley, if Facebook Live probably is your hit then. Because if you're excited about it and you're comfortable with it, that'll probably be where you're going to find the most success. Okay? Um, okay, so back to themed sales. Um, yeah. Polka dots. Um, you can do shop your size. You can do dresses. You can do, I mean, whatever, just themed sales. I mean, you can literally make up anything. Red, white, and blue. Anything, uh, well, during 4th of July, I did anything in my shop that was red, white, and blue. I, I, saw, I did a red, white, and blue sale. Um, Valentine's Day sale. You can do anything pink and red or with hearts or whatever. Okay, so that. Some weird noises in here. It is Halloween. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, so back to other things. Okay, flat lays. You wearing the clothes. Um, doing. Uh, using other people's like free to use pictures. Cause sometimes people like I'm skinny. Okay. Yeah, I'm skinny. But some people, I have bigger people in my shop, like the two XL, three XL. Um, and they do buy from me. Oh, I love it because all of the Ignis and Dora fits every size just the same as it fits somebody extra, extra small like me. It just looks great on everybody. But some people are like, can I see it on somebody my size? So sharing, and I'm bad at this. I need to get better. I do it occasionally. I just like to use my own photos if at all possible. But sharing other people and what they look like in the clothes, even tall and short. That's another comment that I get. I'm taller. I'm 5'7". So anybody like 5'1", they're like, do the dusters fit? So showing pictures, like that may be just the thing that they need to be like, oh, the news doesn't make me look pregnant. Oh, the duster won't make me look short or drag on the floor. So doing stuff like that too. Um, I also noticed that my sales picked up more when I would do a flat lay. People don't buy flat lays for me. If I would do a flat lay and then I would wear the outfit. That, if I wore the outfit, I almost always sold the outfit that I wore. Almost always. So that's why you see a lot of pictures of me wearing the gloves in my group because I don't think I've made a single post of me wearing something that hasn't sold. Yes, Melissa, same thing. I hear it all the time, what does it look like on normal size person? I'm 6'1", I need to get better at it. Ha ha cry face. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so just keep doing things until you find out what what takes off. Because it took me a while to figure out me wearing the clothes is what people want to see. And so that's actually now progressed to, if they like to see me wearing the clothes, I'm going to change all of the stock photos in my online store, my party site, to me wearing the clothes. So I take in this corner here, I take all my pictures. It takes me two seconds. I set up my tripod. I put on a timer. I take three sequential photos. I pick the best one. I load it to the site. I'm done with it. It doesn't take too long. I mean, over. I mean, with when you're talking about how many I'm doing, it does take a lot of time. But like now that I'm caught up, like it, it takes me maybe five hours every launch. And well, and I get big launches. So if you're getting smaller launches, it would probably take you like maybe an hour to do this. But um, to, to like photograph all the pictures and just replace the photos or not replace the photos, but add the, add the photo before the stock photo. And I did actually notice a, a, an uptick in sales. Um, it could have been that we're in a buying season too. I don't know, but, um, 
people have I've gotten a great response from it people say oh I love I love your pictures for some reason they're like oh, I like it in real life well it's like well that models in real life too but um anyways so that might be your jam that might work for you find what works for you um okay so now back to oh I'm gonna finish this and then we'll go to the other one um so other things that you can do in your group when you like post a picture, so a lot, I get a lot of comments of, oh, the party site doesn't take off for me. Um, it, I, I think the reason for that is because people are trained in like LuLaRoe and shopping that way. But we can slowly over time train our group to like the party site. So if you post pictures, drop a link for them to go claim it. Always drop links. Oh yeah, you can claim it here. Oh, you can claim it here. Drop links, okay? And just program them to like the party site. You can also, like in my group, I have an album. It's Shop Your Size album. And if they are like LuLaRoe fanatics and they follow, or they go into the albums and they see that, they can click Shop Your Size and they can click, I'm a small, they can click that link and it'll take them to my party site and it'll already be filtered to the smalls. So to do that, you go to your party site, like you were shopping, you click the small option, and then you copy that URL. If you want to take it one step further, I put actually put it into Bitly, and I did a, a cute like Bitly link that meant small, like I think it's shop size small, or shop Jill's smalls, or whatever, and then I would do shop Jill's extra smalls. And so you guys can see in my albums, I have shop your size. If you click on it, it'll take you to my shopping group with all those sizes. Um, you could do it for styles. Shop the the high low. Go to your page, get the high low link set up, copy that paste, put it in there. Like there's different ways that you can drive um, drive sales to the party site. Okay, back. Oh right, inventory. Um, so I do now. I have done fifty thousand in a month. I have to buy at minimum $25,000 in inventory each and every month, okay? During those slow times that we had, we just got out of like some slow inventory, not shortages, well I guess you could call it a shortage, yeah, inventory shortage. Um, I had a lot of onesies. I haven't had onesies in a long time and I haven't had to push onesies in a long time. Guys, I cannot tell you how much harder it is to sell a onesie than it is to sell a run. I wanted to, sh I just, I wanted to like go crazy. I wanted to go crazy. Onesies are not your friend. <laughs> onesies are not your friend. You need to invest and you need to grow your inventory. You need to get full size runs. You need to get cohesive size runs. So here's an example. I was talking to one of my LuLaRoe friends. She's actually going to come over to the Agnes and Dora side after this month. She's like, Jill, I just can't break 15. I can't break 15. I can't break 15. How are you able to do 40? And I'm like, well, Agnes and Dora is just better. No. <laughs> um, I was like thinking about it. Okay. So if I post a picture of myself, okay, pretend this is a cardigan. I have an everyday tee on and I have a cardigan, brand new products. Full runs, extra, extra small to 3XL, that's eight. Eight, side, eight, eight, eight tops, that's eight dusters, two full runs, okay? I post a picture of myself in that outfit, I can sell eight outfits, 16 pieces, if you times it by two because I have two pieces, if I throw on a jegging, I could even sell three, eight, eight times three is 24, it's early still. <laughs> I can sell 24 pieces with one picture, potentially, okay? If you're pushing onesies over and over, and you ha you gotta do this to get out your kit or whatever in the beginning. I've been there, I've done it, okay? We all have to do it, so don't complain about it because we've all been there. But eventually there's a time where you just have to commit, you have to bite the bullet, and you have to get your, you have to you have to reinvest in your inventory. You the bigger inventory you have, the more sales you're gonna have. If people aren't shopping you, it might be because they have nothing to shop. They might see a shirt and they're like, oh, I like that shirt. It's not my size. So they might find something else in your inventory or they might like look at that shirt and go find it somewhere else. 
like screenshot and be like, who has this in a medium? It's only in a small, I need it in a medium, okay? So if you have fuller size runs, people are gonna find a shirt and most likely it's gonna be in their size, okay? So the bigger the inventory, the more likely they're gonna find something to shop. So it's gonna be an, a, an investment, but over time that investment is gonna pay off. You're always gonna have an investment. I think some people think that eventually they're gonna not have an investment, but no, you always have an investment. My investment is sitting in the other room in clothes. Always have an investment. Yeah. Okay, so fuller size runs. Um, but yeah, okay, in the beginning to get rid of some of those onesies, you're gonna have to do flat legs, you're gonna have to do outfits, you're gonna have to do shop your size, you're gonna have to like, at launches, even get layers, get layers and create outfits with your onesies to push them out of your shop so that you can start getting fuller runs. When I start having onesies on my site, I pull them off. They come off my site. They go into the vault. I discount them at open houses because it's easier to just get them out that way. Okay. So once you have onesies on your site, freaking pull them off because onesies clutter your site. Um, like even sometimes if there's two of something, if I have like an extra, extra small and like an two XL left, they come off my, they come off my site because if I have like, oh my gosh, I, oh, they got out of control during the, like when the inventory shortage, I started to de-stash, like buy up a bunch of de-stashes, which meant I had a ton of onesies. Oh, I hate onesies. Okay. So I would... I went in there and my tiered tunics and my swings were the worst. And I just like scrolled forever through all these onesies. And then like there in the midst was a few like thicker, fuller runs. And if I got rid of all of the onesies, which I have now in my swings or like all my onesie swings, I've taken them off my site and taking stuff off your site. Some people are just like, it gives them like heart, like ooh, anxiety to do that. It's okay because what it does is it makes your inventory look fuller. Like there's more options. It helps them focus in on things that are pot, like probably their size. Okay. And um, they're more likely to purchase. There was, there's literally a statistic that if there's more available, they get so overwhelmed with options that they sometimes can't even pick one. Okay. So it's okay to like take stuff off your site. Like there's, there's stuff that I don't have on my site. So what I'll do is I'll have that stuff that I pull off the site. That'll be stuff that I sell in like live sales or like, um, like I said, in an open house, a vendor event in home, cause you can discount and just sell it that way. Okay. It doesn't have to be on your site creating clutter so that people can't even focus in and find stuff for them. Um, doing the same with seasonal, um, it's fall. All of my summer stuff has been taken off my site. Anything that looks summery and springy off my site. So people can focus on the fall. I did that in the spring. I took all the fall stuff off and you know what? Actually, when I did that come fall, when this fall, when there wasn't a whole lot of inventory to pick from and people were like, Oh, where's the long sleeve? Where's the... Where's the mock neck swings? Where's the duster? I already had it all. It was just hiding. I didn't want my group to be so sick of seeing it all summer that when I actually wanted them to buy it, they didn't buy it. Okay. They hadn't seen it in months. And so when I literally did an inventory flop on my site, I took all the spring stuff off and I put all the fall stuff up. So it looked like I had gotten all brand new inventory, but it was all freaking old. It was all old. Um, but it all sold. I mean, gosh, how much did I do that day when I flipped it all? I don't know. But like everybody's like, oh, mock swings. Jill has mock swings. And I had mock swings and nobody else had mock swings. So I have a bunch of essential tanks in my, let's, let's go look. Should we take a gander? Let's go gander over there. I'll show you my, my little room. It's a little crazy because I'm getting ready for a vendor event. I'm about to discount some stuff there. Okay. So there. This is like all of my summer stuff that I've taken off. Summer, you see all those summer colors? Now look, this is what's actually on my site. Winter colors, winter colors. 
Okay. Now let's go back over here. Summer, all the summer, like summer dresses, summer, summer, discontinued styles, summer, like all of it's summer. Okay. So where was I going with this? Oh yeah. So I'll just do like, and these are onesies, some onesies, but look, see all those tanks that I, like all of this is my summer stuff that I'm saving. And these I'm going to do like a vacation sale. So you see those, this, like that's another thing. You can do a vacation sale. All of this stuff didn't sell, but I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that it'll sell in a vacation sale in mid-January. I'm going to do a live sale. And I'm going to get everybody their vacation wear. So same with the captain. Um, but all of this stuff is spring and summer stuff that I have hiding that I'm going to relaunch again next summer. Maybe even some of my fishers. Oh, gosh, those fishers. Um, okay, maybe some of this. These are all onesies. Oh, gosh, those are onesies. See, look at all that stuff. That's, it was just, like, cluttering my site. So this is all stuff that I'm going to launch. Like, people might not even have these. Look how many I have of these. And I can sell these all next summer. I got these all on D-Stash. And I'll probably be one of the few that have a ton of those available next summer summer and there's going to be people that are not going to know that that's an older style they're just going to see it as new to them okay so we'll see what happens probably the same as when i did the fall um all right so that's yeah that's pretty much it you gotta take risks in your business and get inventory if you don't have inventory the reason you probably may not be selling is because you don't have enough to be offering to people for them to even find something you're not even giving them the chance to find anything um okay any questions i know i just lost half of the people because it's been an hour now but that is my chicken scratch tips on sales and what i do yeah pretty much just to recap like the highlight or the whatever networking and people will translate into sales. People equal sales. Find people, make friends with people, and they will buy, okay? Secondly, you have to give them inventory. You have to have an inventory for them to shop from. If it's spotty and low, they're not gonna be able to find something. So it's not that they're not buying or not wanting to buy, it's that they literally can't buy. There's nothing for them to buy. There was one time where I, I went and I looked and I didn't have a single large swing. I had like 20 swings. This is before I pulled all my onesies off. I had like 20 swings and not a single large. I didn't even know that. So if somebody was large and wanted a swing, they couldn't buy one. Okay. Any questions before I hop off? I have so much to do. Oh, thanks, Sheila. You're welcome. I wish I could do it more. Yes, Erica, catch the replay. I'm glad I kept it to an hour. I'm a talker. I actually know I'm not a talker. I'm a rambler. I just ramble in circles. Okay, no questions? 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 Oh, this is what Lindsay does. She rocks this. Link drop. Love Lindsay. Who else does really good? Gypsy Girls. I'm going to show you another one that just popped into my head. Oh, this is in her group, though. Oh, yeah. See, Emily. Oh, girl. She's all over her page. Sharing. And she does it with her husband, too. Like, look how fun this looks. Make it look fun. And she invites people into their group. 
where they are to shop. Look, she's inviting people to the group and giveaways. There's her live on her personal page. Let's see what else? <gasps> Look at her go! Look, she's got even got captioning up. Wait, did she just turn and it changed? <gasps> oh, Emily, look at this. You love shopping from home? I know Sorry, you. you're embarrassed. Join my shopping community to check out all of these beautiful styles. Look at that. This is the walker, the love tunic, cold shoulder tunic. <gasps> that is so freaking Favorite fun. Cardigan. That is so cute. See, this is, oh, there's Emily. <laughs> Emily, that is so cute. See, that's the stuff that people are like, okay. But let me go back a second because th that, like, it might be, I think, Emily, what your husband does that for you, right? So not everybody has a husband that does that kind of stuff. So you have to kind of give yourself a little grace. Like, you can't be awesome like Emily. You can be awesome in your own way. Like, that is something that I literally, I could never do. <laughs> that's Emily's thing. I'm not going to try to be Emily, but that's cool. So find your cool and then go do it. Emily, are there more videos? Can I just watch you all day? That's so cute. And she went like this and her shirt changed. Like, that's so cute. <laughs> all right. Anyways. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, Erica's doing personal photos. Um, Ashley, okay, so Ashley said, um, if you put your link in your post, Facebook takes away relevancy points and doesn't show you to as many people. They said to put the link in the comments. Um, yes, that very well could be correct. I don't because I want, I didn't mention this. A lot of my posts are scheduled just because it's so freaking easy. I will take a day and I will just schedule posts for the week. And this is me being really lazy in my business. I'll automate. I'll just like, I have, I, I, I like, I, I want, I don't want to work 24 seven. So I will schedule posts and I'll just go about my days and my, my business will be working for me. So I'll schedule. So I don't know sometimes when some of my posts schedule, so that's why my links are in there, so it'll just post already. And so I don't have to like, oh, it's posting at nine o'clock. I have to go in and make sure that I post my link in my comments. But if you do that live, yeah, you can, I would just make sure link in comments. You have to say link in comments so people know to click on comments. Um, the relevancy, like what shows up more in Facebook feeds is alive. Like the first things that will show up or like the importance to Facebook. They'll show a live before they show a video. They'll show a video before they show a picture. And they'll show a picture before they show just text. So text is great, but if you add a picture, it's that much better. If you add a video, it's that much better. If you do a live, it's that much better. You see what I mean? So like, that's how Facebook shows, because it takes more time to do this. Less time, less time, less time. And so it, it gives it more, whatever. Okay. Comments. Yeah, see, Emily's husband does all the video stuff. What? Look at this. My Monet, like, I'm starting to grow baby hairs. Like, my Monet is starting to give me new, new hair. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's just out of control. Yeah. Um. And Ashley, just because you have a link in the comments doesn't mean nobody's going to see it. Like, that's all I, like, that's all I do. I'd never put it in comments. And I'm doing just fine. So I wouldn't worry about, like, a hundred less people seeing it. A hundred sounds like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, that's really not. <clears throat> okay. No other questions? No questions? I'm going to hop off. I have to fill an order. I have to do that return. I need to get ready for lunch. I need to invoice this person. What else is on my list today? Oh. Um. Oh, 
if anybody stays on till this last part. I will say, okay, so for those who have higher volume shops and are getting to the point of like you're starting to reach 25, 30, 30, 35,000, that's the, that's the point where it got to be like too much for me. Too much meaning I still wanted to have a life. I didn't want this business to run my life, okay? Um, so when you get to that point, something to think about is hiring help, okay? It's the best thing. I, I have three employees. It's the best thing I ever did. I have OCD. I've talked to my other boss babes. <laughs> we have a boss babes chat of some, some girls. And I tell them, I'm like, you guys, you need to hire people. You need to hire people. You're doing enough where you need to hire people. They haven't yet. But their response is, I, I have OCD. I can't relinquish that control. And I'm like, well, okay, then you have to, you have to be okay working 24-7 and being stressed. Okay. Not that their life is stressful, <laughs> but I mean, I, it's, it's a lot of work. Okay. Some people, I think they think I work 24 seven. No, I have like a typical nine to five job. Um, I, I, that's the point where you need to be okay hiring somebody. So like warm yourself up to that idea over time. Once you get to that point, hire somebody. I hired first somebody to ship for me. And now she moved over to invoicing. So she invoices for me. I don't send it. Well, I do send occasional invoices. But she invoices all party site sales. I just, when the order comes in, I kind of look to see who's ordering what so that I am still active in knowing what's selling, who's buying what, like what pictures I'm posting are translating into sales, that kind of stuff. So I'm active in that. She sends the invoice though. Okay. She logs in three to four times a day and sent, make sure invoices are out. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm out with my family. I'm enjoying my day. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. And now I have two girls that now ship for me. They take team that every other day usually. Um, and then th they go through my inventory when it comes. They make sure that it's all accurate. Like I get the right stuff in my kit or in my inventory. Like they do inventory making sure that it matches. And then they load it to my site and then they hang one of everything and they steam it and they, yes. That is new stuff that just came in. She's already got it hung and steamed and she put away all my stuff. It's amazing. Like that's easy stuff that I don't have to do. Um, but they're like, oh no, I can't give up that control. You know, it took about a month. I'm not going to lie. Like when you, you guys, when you started, did you make mistakes in shipping and stuff? I did a lot, so I, I couldn't expect anything different of them. Like I knew there was gonna be mistakes and I knew that they were gonna figure it out and they were gonna be great at it and they are great at it. And it's so much better. Like I'll be out in the hot tub now with my family at night and they'll be inside shipping. I will be out to dinner. I will be at the pumpkin patch and they'll be shipping, okay? And it's just like, I constantly am always thinking, if they weren't here, I, that would be me. That would be me. I would be up late at night or whatever, okay? So it is worth it to have somebody. And if you think, like, it it does, obviously. If you're at that point where you're doing 30000 you can afford to have somebody do that for you. And it's worth it. It's worth the time and worth the whatever. So letting you guys know. And that actually did increase my sales because I would find myself, now I'm just talking, but I would find myself literally not posting to my group because I knew that if I posted, I would sell something. And if I sold something, that meant I had to ship. And I didn't have any more time that I wanted to give up for shipping. So I had to hire somebody if I wanted to keep growing my business. And since I've hired somebody and I'm allowed to like do more things for like this, or like just posting to my group and making connections and preparing for live sales properly and then just doing all that stuff, I was able to increase my sales way above what it costs to pay them. So it has helped tremendously. So, mm -hmm. all right, no questions came through. So I'm gonna hop off and stop talking and go work. <laughs>